Today, I am going to share with you a secret. The secret of happiness. If you are already filled up with pain, with anguish, with fear, with despondency, turn to God. Even if you call yourself a Christian, you have to learn three simple things, three simple things for you to regain your happiness. Most of so-called Christians have gone away into pursuing some God that is according to their own hearts. Thus happens with the Roman Catholics, with all the Reformed brothers that call themselves Christians. Whether they are Lutherans, Evangelicals, Episcopalians, Baptists, and so on. Because they have chosen not to follow the Christ, not to follow God, but to follow some others according to their own whims. And today, if you really want to find God, I will show you just three little secrets. The first one has to do with the creed. And it's very simple. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Are those three gods? No, they are one. How is that possible? I don't know. I'm only human. You are human. We cannot understand how the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are three persons and one God. It's outside our capacity. But it is written all over sacred scripture. From Genesis, that says, Bereshit bara Elohim. At the beginning, the gods, meaning one, made heaven and earth. And God the Father said with his voice, with his logos, let it be light. And it came to be. And the Spirit of God was on the surface of the water. So from the beginning till the end, we see the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, three persons, one God. I believe in this God that is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. That the Son truly is God eternal. But he became man, incarnated in the holy womb of the most holy Theotokos. This is the ancient sign of the cross. This is the sign of the cross that the monks use when they are not either priests or bishops. And they can bless with this. We priests use a different hand. But this hand means Jesu Christos Nika. The Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, the conqueror. And we say, that the Son was incarnated in the holy womb, womb of the most holy Theotokos. And then we say, in the name of the Father that is in heaven, of the Son that came down from me and went into hell, that resurrected and was, and is sitting at the right hand of the Father and of the Holy Spirit. It is not all the way here, but here, because here in this side we have the heart, you are inviting God, the Holy Spirit, to reside in our heart. So first, learn how to properly cross yourself. It deals with the creed, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The second thing that you have to learn is the prayer of the heart. Lord Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on me, a sinner. This is very important to say it this way. Lord Jesus means God named Jesus, son of David. That is that he became, he being the son of God and God himself, became incarnated 
so he is one like us. Have mercy on me, a sinner, which is the strongest prayer. Even praised by the Lord himself in that passage of the gospel. Two men went up the temple to pray. One was a Pharisee and the other was a, a sinner, a public sinner. And the sinner was forgiven because he did not dare to look up. He went to see God, but he was ashamed. He struck his chest, saying, Have mercy on me, O oh God, because I am a sinner. So when we repeat that prayer, we are repeating the strongest prayer that it is for us, a simple humankind. And the third one is to do as God is pleased that we do. First of all, that we are humble, that we are obedient, that we hear the voice of the Lord, and we hear the voice of the Lord through the Gospels and throughout Holy Scripture. Those three are the virtues of the Most Holy Theotokos, and we should ask her to help us also. The things that we must do is to love each other, to love each other with true love, to share what we have. If you have a, a little bit of food, then you can fast a couple of days, that is Wednesdays and Fridays. And on those days, your breakfast, share it with somebody else that is always hungry. The deeds of love start with praying. When we pray intently for those who harm you, for those who curse you, for those who persecute you, as well as those who love you and you love, when we pray intently for them, God blesses them and you. And then we have done the three things that are more important. Being a Christian is being a follower of Christ. It's not about using a cross. It's not about following the Pope or following this or that, um, Luther or Calvin or whatever. It's becoming a true loving Christian. The best woman or man that can be in your own skin. To become holy. Not just to become good and be good sometimes. It is not about keeping a balance. I did this much harm, but I did this much, this much good, so in the end I'm, I'm, better, I'm, I'm a little bit more good. No, it's not about that. It's about striving to be perfect and be holy. And that can only even be perceived and desired when you are humble, when you are obedient, and when you listen to the Word of God. God loves you so much, all of us. May God grant you, each of you that hear me, to share this, to stop fighting for this and that, to just love each other. For that is the path of salvation. There is no other way. May God bless you all. For blessed is a God always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.